Hello everyone, welcome back to Gidroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the first descendant is having audio or sound is not working and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the work now. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart on a PC. For this we just need to go over here to the start, click on this particular icon, go to the power icon over here and go for restart. Once restart is done, we just need to try launching the game and that is what we have to do. This is the basic step which we need to try out and if it's not working we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to check the volume mixer. For this we just need to go over here in the speaker icon and make sure that the volume mixer either it should be in 100% if it is muted we have to keep in mind if it is muted what happens is when you try to launch the game what happens is uh, you know, uh, you'll not be hearing the sound. So it is quite important that we have to move it to maximum and once afterwards try launching the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. This is a very basic one but even though it brings, it, uh, it plays a lot of role because many users complain at the end they just accidentally turned it off that is why they had the issue. So when they tried this out it did worked. Next one we have to select the right audio device. So just go over here in the start, go to this particular icon go for sound and over here you have to make sure that you know you have to select the right speaker on both output as well as on the input this is very important or else you'll be having a lot of trouble make sure it is uh, correct as well as it is also correct this is very important and once afterwards we just need to close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about we need to set the sound sample rate to either to 48 or 44 kilohertz in the sound control panel so just go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the control panel. Now from here go to uh, hardware and sound, go for sound from here. Now from here what happens is you have to find the respective speaker, right click and we have to go to the properties. Now from here go to the advanced and select this one and make sure if, it, if you are having 24 bit set this to 24 bit, if you are having 16 bit keep the 16 bit 4400 Hz or go for 60, uh, 16 bit 4800 Hz. Once afterwards, just uh, set everything and go for OK. And also keep in mind, you can also try turning off the spatial sound. So just go over here in the spatial sound. Go over here and turn off. And once you turn this off, just go for apply and go for OK. And try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to uh, remove the, uh, uh, I mean, what you have connected already might be the speakers. Just remove it. Now connect it back and see whether the issue is solved as well. This might work because of any, uh, you know, uh, any loose connections can be one of the reason. So make sure that is not the case. Next one, we have to disable the Oculus. So just go over here in the search. We have to go over here in the control panel. Go for hardware and sound. Go for the sound over here. Now from here, make sure if you find any Oculus here, just remove it. I mean, you have to disable it. Once you disable this, you can go back close everything and go back try launch the game next one is all about we need to uh, you know uh, we need to update the audio drivers so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go over here in the device manager now from here we have to go over here go to the sound video and game controllers now from here we just need to go over here select this one and go for either update the driver make sure it is up to date or else you'll be having the trouble so just update the drivers and once afterwards Go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to verify integrity of game files. So just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties. Now from here go to the installed file. Just click on the verify integrity of game file. This will take a lot of time. So uh, I'm gonna skip this up. Once you click on this you'll be uh, it will start processing and afterwards you'll be getting the play button once again and also you'll be getting a message that you know it worked. So once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workaround. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.